So I still haven't decided whether we're good or bad or mediocre yet. Some games we look good, some games we look absolutely shocking. But we seem to be progressing a little bit. Let's see how we've got on. <laughs> Welcome back to Around the World in 80 Clubs. Since you were last with me and that 3-0 loss to Manchester United, we then went on to beat Burnley in the EFL Cup 2-0 with Schultz and Steer getting the goals. We then went on to face Leeds in which we won 3-1 with an own goal and then Baldazzini getting a brace. We then lost a couple, firstly to league leaders Newcastle 3-1 with Schultz getting our only goal. They were clearly the better team. And then we got absolutely destroyed by Bournemouth. Bournemouth, yes, 5-0. We then went on to beat Brentford 3-0 with Schultz getting a hat-trick. And then most recently was a two-all draw with West Ham, with Goke and Schultz on the score sheet. All of which leaves us in 12th place on 20 points. Very, very close for the, sort of the final European spots. Um, and yes, Bournemouth, believe it or not, are on a worldie. They are on 33 points level with top of the table Manchester City but we have a little look at the overview it's not like they've they've come basically from nowhere they've been sort of seventh eighth ninth you know where you kind of half expect them to be able to get to but they've just done absolutely bits have they had a broad takeover No, it doesn't look like they've had uh, the chairperson left in 2025 and they had a tycoon takeover in 2025. But that doesn't explain why this year they're good, sort of six, seven years later. have I wonder if they've been building the club in the right way. So they're facilities for example are good state of the art state yeah they've they've built they've used it to build youth facilities haven't they and then they've progressed over time bringing in players but anyway so for today's game against wolves a localish derby we have lucas in goal mohammed Mohamed, the bat, Gabriel and Magnussen at the back, Winks and Canate with Kuhn out wide, Schultz and Steer behind Shipper up top. And they are starting to work together a little bit more. So I do feel that the team cohesion's coming. I think we need to keep things going there we go i think they they are looking we are looking a little bit better than we were originally and i do believe that this team is good still believe it's better than the mid table we currently are but we'll have to see winks now on the ball plays it to the bat back to winks to Shipper, to Stu, to Schultz. Schultz now puts it through. Schultz gets the early goal. 
Yes, that's what we wanted against bitter rivals Wolves. Obviously, you've got West Brom and Birmingham up there as well, but that's what we want to see. We want to see us do well. And Schultz has been the man recently. He just seems to run past the striker. And every time he does, he's he's through on goal. Here's Steer. Gets tackled, but Mahmoud picks it up to the bat. The bat back to Mahmoud. To Steer. Can Steer find a ball across? He's going in alone. And he goes all the way through to make it 2 0. And this is what I was saying. Uh, we're looking better as a team. We're playing better football as a team than we were originally. They've just changed formation to a 4 4 2. Well, they're just swapping over positions, Johnson and Illing. Or Ling, is that? Ling. But here's Magnuson, plays it to Winks, to Stir. Stir finds a ball out to Kuhn. Kuhn, can he find a ball through? He does to Kanate. Kanate tries to get it across, but he's unable to find Shipper, and the ball gets kicked out for a corner. Now Kuhn steps up to take the corner, plays it towards the near post of Magnuson's head, but he headers just over the crossbar, unable to keep it down. See, with this win, we go right up the table. Here is Steer to Mahmood, back to Steer. Plays it back to Mahmood, to Winks, to Steer. Canate, or oh, just over the crossbar, skimming the top of the bar. Yeah, see, we're now, we're now in eighth, and one point away from Europa League, or... Conference, UEFA Conference League, whatever it's called now. And that was unlucky from Steer, I think. He headers, but the keeper manages to, to get it away. So you're doing it brilliantly. Keep it up. We are, though, going to make a change. Schultz has been magnificent recently, but he could do with a bit of a break. So we're going to bring him off. We're going to rest him at half time because we're 2 0 up. I can't see them getting back. We are absolutely dominating. And the ball's played towards the back post, and the bat just volleys it straight into the top corner. Let's look at that one again. That one looked like it was special. In comes the in swinging corner, plays it to the back post, and the bat, who just volleys it to the near post to to the inside the post an absolute brilliant volley now we're 60 minutes gone we have dominated they haven't even had a shot wolves and this is mid table wolves here's stir plays it towards the back post unable to find a claret shirt plays it to magnuson Magnuson to Bellard, back through to Stir, and Stir makes it 4-0. Four goals, absolutely brilliant. Get in there. We don't need to see it again. We're going to make more changes now. It's 70 minutes. Let's rest the boys. Let's bring on Coplin for Shipper. Gokai can come on for Coon. Canate is coming off for Gardner. The bat's coming off for Shalabar. And we're going to bring Hike on for... Oh, we can't. Sorry, I forgot that we'd made the substitute earlier. We're making all our substitutes, freshening things up, giving the boys a break. But here is a corner. It goes towards Magnuson, who headers just over again. And now they have a corner with Sugawa plays it in. We get clear, but only as far as Nick Teeth. Shalabar plays it across. Steer gets clear. 
Johnson regains the ball for Wolves, plays it back to Ferguson and Sugawar. I don't know if that was a shot or a cross, but whatever it was, it didn't work and ends up in Lucas's hands. Here's Gardner, plays it to Winks. Winks to Steer. Steer plays it over to Mahmoud, to Winks. Can Winks find a ball into the centre? He can't, so he plays it back to Mahmoud, who slots it in towards the penalty spot and the waiting Gokai to make it 5 nil. Superb play there. My play the fourth of Johnson. Johnson now plays it into sender. Gardner just picks it up, slots it through to Winks, who just gives the ball away. But Steer now picks it up. Shalabar to Gardner. Back to Gabriel. What's Gabriel doing with it? Plays it out to Magnuson. Magnuson with a loose ball, though. Nekati Tar is on the ball. Plays it back to Matozo. And Matozo puts the ball in the back of the net, runs to pick up the ball like they can get five. Unfortunately, it's not a clean sheet. But that doesn't matter. We're 23 points now. That's also helped bring our goal difference closer to zero for the season. Wowzers. So I forget who we're playing next. That's Leeds. So join me for, we will watch this game, the Carabao Cup quarterfinals against Leeds after this. Hello and welcome back. Uh, we are going into this game unchanged. I want to see how the team goes. Although Benetti is injured. So we're going to bring Petrovic on the bench for him. Um, yeah, I just want to see if we can continue where we left off last game. We're playing well. Let's keep the team as similar as possible. Obviously, we've got at least two people coming in in January. Um, hopefully more. We will see, though. It looks like Hick Hike is trying to force his way out of the club now, um, who is our left back, uh, which is in a way a good thing because my mood, we don't want to, you know, he wants to play to progress um we need him to play so what we may end up doing is getting an english backup um i think the way forward um or trying to find another younger player to play second fiddle to our current one but we go 1-0 down with Jorginho getting the goal. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what um, what we want in January, really. I want another centre-back, as I said. 2-0. Um, From another set-piece, and we've got good headers of the ball. Um, yeah in January defenders I think we could use another out and out striker here is Stewart plays it in towards Shipper who's surely brought down there what's the referee saying he's going to VAR for a penalty review and the penalty's awarded. Now up steps Kanate. Runs back. Shoots and sends the keeper the wrong way. Easy as you like. Puts it in the back of the net to make it 2-1. Yeah, 
this is the EFL Cup, so I'm not ever so worried if we lose, but we are going to tell them we're not happy to start with. We're probably going to bring the likes of Schultz and Stir off. Mohamed will probably come off as well. And Kuhn. Here is Stir now on the ball. To Gabriel, to Magnuson, to Winks. Winks to Stir, to the bat. The bat finds Mahmoud, plays it back to the bat. Plays it infield to Winks, back out to Mahmoud, to Stir, back to Mahmoud. Winks, Canate, plays it into Schultz, whose shots dragged wide. And not the best. So hey, Aguilar, Athena, Aguilar. Plays it into Jorginho, but that's got to be offside, surely. Looked offside to me. Please tell me it was. It's not. Okay, so we're going to go attacking now. We're going to give them another five minutes. Right, now it's time to make some changes. Mahmoud comes off for Hickey. Shalabar's on for Gabriel. Coons off for Gokke. And Steer is coming off for Baldazzini. And we're going to Gardner on for Winks. Let's go. We're going to demand more as well. Let's see if we can get something, get back into this game at least. Unfortunately, it does look like in today's game, Leeds have got the better of our team. Which again is really confusing after the last game where we just looked like anything we touched would go in and pull it off. This game we've not, but the stats don't tell us that. The stats say we should be right up there with them. That's what's frustrating, I guess, is they've just had more clear-cut chances and scored. Magnuson plays it out to Goke. Goke gets the ball in the back of the net. We're 90 minutes. We're going to go all out attack. Let's pause it. Tactics. We are throwing men up now. Canate can't. No. Hike goes to wing back. But any of those, that's what we'll do for now, I think. It's always two over. Uh, very attacking. Long ball. We'll step up more. Right, let's go. Confirm changes. I don't in my ass full time. Probably didn't even change really, but full time. And we unfortunately lose 3 2. Not the best, but remember that we are still in the league. We lost in the quarterfinals of the Caribou Cup, which isn't the worst result in the world. Um, meaning we concentrate on the league and the FA Cup. And obviously we've got 10 million in the debt as things stand. So, when do we come back? 
I'm thinking uh, we're going to skip a bunch, I think. I tell you what, we'll come back for West Brom and Spurs. So Spurs and then West Brom. So we'll see the end of the January transfer window and see if I bring any more players in apart from the two we've previously seen. So please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, I've been the Masked Manager, and I have spoken. <laughs>